How's it going? We just got done cleaning the gutters out and we noticed we've got a lot of standing water. This is not a good thing for any kind of gutter system or water management. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do a real quick uh, reset on these gutters, pitch them right. So just hang tight and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to get rid of this little, this little pond we have. Hey, what's going on? It's Adam. And uh, so if you see some of the other videos on this channel, you know, we'll, we'll set toilets. I'm doing roof inspections, working on cars. Today we're doing gutters. We got some issues with the gutters. So if you're one of those dudes, hey, you might wanna just go ahead and like and subscribe the channel now, right there. And then when you're done, go ahead and check out some of the other videos, uh, cause I'm sure we got something to offer you. Let's see what we do today. Okay, so I was blowing the gutters out the other day. This is the second time I've done that this year. We've got a large white oak and I believe a hickory over here. Uh, or possibly a different kind of oak and they're pretty close to the house and so we, we get a good bit of buildup it's cleaning the gutters out and you know there was an there's a lot of water in the gutter now here it hasn't really rained for about three days we did have a good bit of rain for about a week but you see here after three days we still have water in the gutter all right so there's a lot of reasons for this um, but in my particular reason when I get down here, try to get even with the gutter, you see how it's not very level. Well, they're not supposed to be level. You should have a higher end of your gutter, and it's supposed to gradually drop down to where your downspout is. This makes sure that you don't get standing water. In our case, we've got a bowing or a sink in the gutter here, and so as you can see, it just sits there. Now, another thing we have, or we did have are these gutter spikes these are a very old school way of fastening a gutter it's really just a long nail you see you've got some grooves in it and this is just hammered into your fascia board and over time they definitely come come back out they just just what happens the house settles expansion and, and contraction of the wood from heat and uh, humidity changes it just forces this thing back out and so what they make now is what's called a hidden hanger. And so these hidden hangers basically are just nothing more than a hook this side. And you've got a screw on this side. And then the way we install them, we just put them in here like that. And in our case, we actually had to remove some of the, here we go, some of the uh, older now this technically should clip into this, but I can't really, yeah, maybe I can, one-handed, there we go. Now these will replace those older style uh, gutter spikes. And so now what we get to do, we can come back and push this up and screw it in and we effectively re-pitch the gutters. So let's do that. Now, actually, before I get started on that, I do want to point out a few things. So you do have, generally, you have a certain, uh, everybody, every company does it different. Everyone has their own philosophies, but you don't want to have more than about two feet, two and a half feet in between each one of these hangers or even a gutter spike. And the reason why is because when these things, when it's raining really hard and you've got a long run of gutter, this is probably a 30 foot run, maybe 25 feet. Let's say you've got like a 70 foot run, which is not uncommon. If this thing is completely full of water, that weighs a lot. And that will 100% pull the gutter away from the fascia. And then that creates a whole nother issue. So you wanna have these hangers, ideally these hidden hangers with the screw about every two feet. And so in our case, they're not quite two feet because I only have three left. So we're going to put these up and I'm just going to come back and try to install a few more. Probably going to completely remove all the gutter spikes from this gutter because um, we've got some other work to do on the downspout over there. But another quick note is this does have drip edge. Now some places in the country don't have drip edge. It's not a code or, you know, when your house was built, it wasn't a code requirement. Um, it is here in Georgia for about the past five or six years or so, but especially when you get up north, you have a lot of ice dams, you're definitely gonna have to work around this. So 
it can be a little difficult but if you run into any issues you can use a pair of tin snips and you just cut a notch in your gutter apron or your drip edge and you can bend it up and that should give you access to that that gutter area okay i'm going to start with the one that's farthest down from where i'm trying to uh, raise because it looks like once i raise this side and work my way this way i'm still going to have a dip so i'm going to start where the the problem seems the worst and raise that up and then i should it should be easy as i move my way back that way all right so i think this uses a quarter inch uh i think it's a quarter inch hex head bit and it's a regular battery power drill nothing crazy and we're just going to push up on the gutter And then we're just going to zip this right into the fascia. I like it. I like it a lot. So this side, I am running into an issue with the drip edge. When I push it up, it's wanting to kind of work against me. But actually, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get some snips and show you how to fix it. All right, so you can see here what I was talking about when I push up. I've got a glare on my screen. I can't even see what I'm... Okay, so when I push up here, I'm hitting this drip edge band. And I, yeah, I can lift it up and then probably pull this up, but it's still kind of fighting against me because I'm not really trying to lift. I'm not trying to necessarily push the gutter up. Here, I'm trying to push the lip, the outside lip, back to the fascia because it's not sitting like it's supposed to. And that's how it's it's fighting me. So... There's no sense in working against myself here. We do have a pair of snips. Let me switch hands here. So we use some kind of metal snips like this will work just fine. And we'll cut just a little notch here. I can't do it with that hand. Let's try it with the correct hand, which is the right hand. If you are left-handed, you're wrong. It's one of those five minutes later kind of things. All right, that this does look sloppy, but that's what happens when you use one hand. So this is what I'm talking about. Put your little notch in that, lift it up, screw it in, and then you can push this back down. Also note on this one, you can see a little tear right there in the back part of the gutter. This actually, this is weird. Uh, this spike, I think, broke in half. And we just bought the house. Nope, that's actually a new spike. We just bought the house six or nine months ago, something like that. So we're still running into weird things where somebody tried to make a repair. And they didn't do it right. So that's why that looks like that. But we're just going to go ahead and pop that spike out and to do that we just use a claw hammer you press in on it a little bit and the, the head's available and then you can just pull that entire spike out so let's get this one zipped in man that is a that's night and day difference look down through there i mean the wall is 
much better against the fascia and then when we drop down we can see we start uh from here to the bottom of the gutter is about an inch and a quarter on that end and it slowly drops its way all the way down to there's a little bit of a bump there but i mean it's the best we can do until we pull that spike out and lift that side and like i said i don't I just ran out of these hangers i do replace these on the side not for a living but uh it's a service that i offer so i just happen to run out of them today but you know how they say the mechanics car is the last thing to be serviced and so we finally got around to doing this on our house but this uh this will greatly affect uh let's zoom back out this will greatly help uh make sure this gutter doesn't stay partially full all the time and uh, that's just a real bad thing you don't want that uh if you, you, you you're better off not even having gutters than having gutters that don't work uh so we're gonna now that we got this taken care of we're gonna finish cleaning this thing out probably spray it down see how it flows hopefully some of you guys saved some money and you didn't have to call a gutter professional it's gonna tack in all kinds of fees and charges and minimums and stuff like that just to come out and literally put three or four or five or even six or whatever of these like four dollar hangers or they're maybe they're three dollars i don't know you can get them at menards lowe's you know ace hardware home depot and uh do it yourself man save some money so what i'm trying to accomplish here is i want to see i'm trying to mimic a rain so i'm having old kessler down here load this gutter up with water because i want to see uh, uh you know I'm, I'm trying to mimic it like a rain you know so obviously you know a couple hours later yeah there probably is going to be a little bit of water in here but i shouldn't come back tomorrow and there's still water in the gutter we want to avoid that and if there is water we want it to be just a small you know maybe it's just a little two or three foot section so that looks like it's Definitely working. But, all right, stop. Kessler. Kessler, stop now. I just wanted to fill the gutter up. I didn't want to, I didn't want you to pressure wash it. <laughs> Somebody's having too much fun. All right, it's been about two and a half hours or so. And let's take a look what we got. There's still some water in there. But you see, this is, that's what you want. You know, look at that side. That's good. Two, two hours, almost three hours later, we do still have some water. But we don't have... You can see this right here is probably where it's going to pull. It's going to go from about right here for about another four feet. Somewhere in here. And that is much better than having the entire gutter from the downspout you know 20 feet back having a pond of water and again this is only a few hours later so that's definitely what we want hopefully we helped you guys out if you like what you saw by all means throw us a like and a subscription and uh, tell your friends about it share it and uh, we'll see you around if you got any ideas for some new videos please send them our way we do just about everything around here we might just do a cooking video on next time. I'm not not quite sure yet. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you.